statistical tests and when to use them. To determine which statistical test you need to use, you must first figure out what type of data you've gathered. There are three types you need to know about, ordinal, nominal and interval or parametric. Nominal level data. Nominal sounds like name, which makes it easy to remember as nominal data falls into named categories. It counts the frequency of people falling into different categories. For example, 7 people passed their driving test first time, 6 didn't. How many participants have dogs, how many have cats, how many have birds or fish. We may record this data in a tally chart. Nominal tests include chi-squared and the sign test. Ordinal level data. This is data that is capable of being put into rank order, for example, places in a beauty contest, ratings for attractiveness, or a participant's happiness rating on a questionnaire out of 10. There are gaps between each number, but the size of these gaps are unknown. If someone scores first in a race, they may have been only 0.1 seconds in front of second place, but 3 seconds in front of third place. If someone rates themselves as a 7 for happiness, but someone else rates themselves as a 6, we cannot know what the exact difference between one person's 6 and another person's 7 is. Ordinal tests include Spearman's Row, Wilcoxon and Man Whitney. Interval level data, or parametric data. Data is measured in fixed units with equal distance between points on the scale. For example, if we measure someone's height as being 156 cm we know this is 1 cm taller than someone who is 157 cm. There is a fixed interval between each unit. It's not subjective. Parametric tests include Pearson's R, related t-test and unrelated t-test. Now, let's go through each statistical test. Parametric tests. We've decided our data is parametric. We are looking for a correlation, a significant relationship between two variables. Therefore, we will use Pearson's R. We've decided our data is parametric. We are looking for a difference, a significant difference between two variables. We have used a repeated measures or matched pairs design, so our data is related. We will therefore use a related t-test. We've decided our data is parametric. We are looking for a difference, a significant difference between two variables. We have used an independent group's design, so our data isn't related. We will therefore use an unrelated t-test. Nominal tests. We've decided our data is nominal. We have used an independent group's design, so our data isn't related. We will therefore use chi-squared. We have used a repeated measures or matched pairs design, so our data is related. We will therefore use the sign test. Ordinal tests. We've decided our data is ordinal. We are looking for a correlation, a significant relationship between two variables. We will therefore use Spearman's row. We are looking for a difference, a significant difference between two variables. We have used an independent group's design, so our data isn't related. We will therefore use Man Whitney. We are looking for a difference, a significant difference between two variables. We have used a repeated measures or matched pairs design, so our data is related. We will therefore use Wilcoxon. Now you try. We've decided our data is nominal. We have used an independent group's design, so our data isn't related. What test will we use? We've decided our data is parametric. We are looking for a difference, a significant difference between two variables. We have used an independent group's design, so our data isn't related. What test will we use? We've decided our data is ordinal. 
We are looking for a correlation, a significant relationship between two variables. What test will we use?